Good day, ladies and gents. This is the Ecclesiarch here, back with some more Horus Heresy Legions. And today I'm going to be doing some card reveals, and it's going to be for the neutral factions. More specifically, the Imperial Guard Solar Auxilia. As well as a little bit of a spicy legendary warlord that all of you are probably here for, first of all. Now, without further ado, let's get right into it. The first card that we got here is the Auxilia Flamer. So, 4 energy, 4, 3. Rally, deal 1 damage to an enemy and its adjacent units. Now, the fact that it has a rally already makes it an okayish card for me. That doesn't, of course, mean that it's going to see a lot of play in every single deck, but maybe if you're building a Solar Auxilia deck, this could be a beautiful addition for you because it's going to help you with a little bit of AoE that you might otherwise be lacking. Because I, if I remember correctly, Solar Auxilia don't really have that much AoE. And if, you, if like, there is a time when... You have to face the defenders of Caliban. This can actually end up being a light uh, lifesaver. Maybe. So yeah, I think that this is an okay unit overall and definitely like it. Nice unit, I would say. Now, the next one, however, is the one that I have a little bit of um, doubt for. And that's the Hellhammer Heavy Tank. Now, like, uh, yeah, it's really a super heavy tank because it's like super costly. It costs 10 energy and it has very high stats. But the thing here is that it has an active ability to destroy a random enemy troop now this is way too slow and this is not going to see any play probably now let me explain why if you remember the sons of horrors actually had this exact same card just with a different name and art uh and the only difference was that its ability was rally instead of like active energy ability and even then it did not see much play there were some people including myself that used to run it but it was not something that was meta, it was not something that was considered that good. And now imagine taking the same unit and just removing the rally and replacing it with an active energy ability. I think for this card to work, it either has to become a rally or has to have a resolution, else it's never going to see any play, even though it's a cool idea. I love the super heavy tanks and stuff like that, so definitely a little bit disappointing for me. However, the next card that we got here, the Manakian Armory, Four energy, draw two vehicles. If they are solar auxilia, they cost one less. So this is actually pretty consistent because you always draw two vehicles. And if you only have solar auxilia vehicles, you're always going to get the bonus off, which is nice. I think four energy is a little bit of a, a problem there because usually you don't really want to be drawing cards for four energy, I guess. But even so, I think the main thing about this is going to be just how good our solar auxilia vehicle is going to be. And of course use it on the ignis uh, tank which is still pretty good so you can do some combos there but in any case there this has some combo potential doesn't seem like too competitive but there's certainly potential in there for an interesting type of solar auxiliary deck however now without further ado let's get into the spiciest bit of this video which is going to be leia rain the infocyte assassin two energy 30 not two energy sorry two damage 35 health and high initiative Legendary Warlord, and it's basically Nerat Kirin on steroids, gentlemen. Chooses a card in the enemy deck and creates a copy in your hand and it costs two less. So not only is it not random, but it also makes them cheaper. And on top of that, you get to choose. You get to see three cards in the enemy deck. So every time you're pressing this, you're basically checking out what your opponent is playing and checking out what your opponent has not drawn yet. Which can be a huge help because let's say... Even though the card doesn't exist in standard anymore, let's just say you're afraid of Contrador and you just press it and you just saw the Contrador is in the enemy deck. So those kinds of things can be like really, really game deciding. But I think the main part of this ability, of course, is the fact that it steals cards and reduces the cost by two. Now, I can definitely tell you this is going to be a very annoying Warlord because card stealing in general is not a fun and healthy mechanic. So, yeah, I assume that a lot of people are going to mauled because of this card right here so i really want to hear what you guys think about these new cards please leave a comment in the chat i really want to hear your opinion as well i think the flamer is okay i think the armory is okay ish the tank is very bad because it's slow and this is gonna be pretty good and on top it's gonna be insanely annoying so well that's what's coming to the game right now gentlemen and you decide how you want to feel about that so ecclesiarch out oh. 